Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today's video, we're going to review the new laser projector. Now this one is by Anchor. It's the Nebula Capsule 3, the newest model they have out. And this is the Transformer Edition. That is really cool looking. And the size of it, this is a truly portable laser projector. Now I've done a whole bunch of projector videos on this channel. All of them so far have been LED. Now LED have bulbs, bulbs die over time. The contrast ratios aren't usually that great. This is a laser projector, completely different. It's awesome. And look at the size. It's about the same size as a regular water bottle. You can take this with you anywhere, throw it in your backpack and take it on the road. And the quality is unbelievable. It's laser technology, not LED. We'll talk about that in today's video. You're going to love this. Stay tuned. All right, I am about to take this and put this on my projector screen. I also want to show what it looks like on a wall. It does have auto correct and auto focus, auto keystone, all that good stuff, which is super cool in a little portable projector because who knows where you're going to put it. You could put it over here, put it over here, and it will correct itself and focus itself with a little sensor down below. I think that's pretty cool. So I wanna share all different services for you on this video so you can get a feel if this is something you wanna get. Now let me talk a little bit about a few of the specs, what it comes on as far as ports. Now on the back of the unit, you've got your power button, you've got sensors back there, but you also have your HDMI input so you could put a Fire TV stick or Android box on this thing if you don't like what's built into it. But I will tell you this, it does have Android 11 built in. So this is an Android TV. A few other things about this thing is DLP technology and at laser, like I mentioned before, laser is different than LED. LED has a lifespan on their bulbs. It's usually about two to three years, depending on how much you use it. Then you have to replace the bulb, find the bulbs if you can, or replace the whole projector. So how many projectors do you have to buy before you get to the price of a laser? You might as well just get the laser to begin with. The lifespan is so much larger. And the contrast ratio is something I like to talk about when I talk about laser versus LED. You're gonna have a higher contrast ratio with this because you're not using light, magnifying glass project You're using laser technology which also uses a glass but it's just a whole lot more crisp and they do advertise this as 1080p but now this is going to be a true 1080p with all those vibrant colors that you want to see it does do wi-fi bluetooth and chromecast is all built in and like i mentioned it's android 11 so it does have all those apps so i'll show that to you the whole interface of this a little bit more close-up looks of this thing i mean it's so cool I really love this thing. I'm excited to try it out. So let's get it on the screen right now. All right, guys, so what I did here is typically what I do is I have it on my projector screen when I do videos. Today, I want to show you how it looks on any surface, whether it's a screen or a wall. Now, I have bright light in here. It is daytime. As you can see, there's light coming in. There's lights above. This is on a tan wall, not even a gray wall, and I'm at an angle from the projector. So check this out. This is literally right on the wall nothing no screen no trickery this is crazy and look at the quality of this thing i mean that oh there i am in the screen but as you can see it's incredible quality now i am currently about i'd say about probably about 10 feet away from the wall right now um, they say optimum is five to seven however as you can see i'm 10 here and i tested it at about 20 feet and it actually was really clear and really really good so this is what the home screen will look like when you first log in. Now, let me just show you before I show you the home screen a little bit more, I wanna show you how cool this thing is. So I have the projector right here as you can see. Watch this, I'm just gonna move this. I'm not doing anything else, there's no remotes. I'm just gonna remove it, move it way over here to the other side of the, the house. Look at that crazy angle. Now check this out, I didn't do anything. I leave it alone, it auto focuses and auto keystone corrects itself. So now what you've got is you've got a perfect screen no matter what you do. And as you can see, this is literally absolutely perfect. And there I am again walking through the screen. But as you can see, they did it automatically. How it does this is pretty impressive. I've actually tested a lot of projectors and I've never seen one that is this perfect with its autofocus and auto keystone. The slightest movement, let's just say I move it in really close it'll still refocus itself and autocorrect it. As you can see, that's how far off I am at the angle. It's always perfect. I could go directly on. It's gonna be crooked from last time, but guess what? It focuses it and there you go. And again, as you see, super clear, no matter if you're close or you're far away. 
So let's have a little bit of fun. I'm gonna be about 20 feet away because I want you to see and I'm not gonna do any autofocus. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this right here on the screen and let's see how it auto adjusts because there is an overhang. So this could be interesting how it does this. All right, so it did focus a little bit on the overhang as well. So all I have to do is just angle it down a little bit. Now I've got a tripod, so it makes it really easy to do that. So I angle it down a little bit, auto focus, auto keystone correct. It'll pop up if you keep moving it like that. Do you like it? Do you want to move it? Look at that. It's perfect now. Slight movements I had to do, but it always keystone corrected. And now let me tell you this, it's not directly on. It's actually over to the right by a few feet, but it auto focused for me and auto keystone corrected, which is really cool. All right, so I wanted to show you how the projector works on all different angles. So let me show you a little bit about the interface. It's really basic. It's, it's going to be Android 11. So if you're familiar with Android, you'll be familiar with this. It'll be a no-brainer for you. Your home screen looks a little bit like this right here. So it's going to be very basic. It's going to have recommendations for movies, things like that. Uh, it's also going to tell you a little bit about your, like a quick start guide and how to autofocus, auto keystone, screen mirror, make it a Bluetooth speaker, how to connect the app, all of that. You can even choose a custom launcher or home screen. But you can check out the apps here. As you can see, it's very, they don't put a lot on here initially. They do put YouTube and Prime Video, uh, but then they've got the full Google Play Store. So they let you put what you want on here. You're not gonna fill up all that hard drive space. This thing does have an HDMI port, so you could hook up another device if you like, maybe a Fire Stick a little bit better or a Roku better. You can connect it into this and you can run off of that. You can obviously run off of your phone or your laptop or your tablet as well, which is great if you want to show home movies or pictures you've taken to family. You could just plug this in, put it on a wall or on a screen. Easy to do and super, super convenient. And you can do that through AirScreen right here if you have an iPhone, so you don't have to just have an Android phone. So let's go to YouTube really fast and let's just pull something up in 4K and check it out. Now again, this is going to be 1080p. It's not a 4K projector, but a 1080p laser projector is a whole lot better than a 1080p or even a 4K LED projector. And I'll show that to you right now. You're going to love this. This looks amazing. So we'll just, we'll just type in 4K. Let's see if it will play 4K video. We'll go ahead and do Dolby Vision here, whatever this is. All right, and I have the volume down really low on the projector because I don't want you to see. So I want you to be able to actually hear this. I'm going to get really close to this and show you the colors. I'm just going to brighten it up a little bit in here so you can see with bright lights in the room what it looks like. So let's get close. It is playing 4K video, no problem. Look at that. I'm getting super close so you can see how detailed that is. The colors are what really make the laser projector so much better than LED. As you can see, it is just on a screen. It is auto-corrected and auto-focused for you, which I think is really cool. Now I'm super far away and you can still see it. And again, it is light in here, it is daylight. There's lights above. Um, I brightened it up in here so you could see it. Actually really, really impressed with this projector. I have nothing bad to say about it. It's incredibly good, and I love that they don't fill it full of a bunch of junk. Like a lot of Android-based systems, they just have so much junk on it. It has what you need, and if you want more, you can add it yourself with the Google Play Store. Pretty nice there. Curious to know what you guys think of this. All right, I really want to know what you guys think of that. I wanted to quickly show you on a screen. I wanted to show you on a wall. Now, that's a tan wall, and there was LED lights around, which I did on purpose because I wanted you to see how bright it really is and how vibrant the colors are even when there's light directly hitting it. I'm really impressed with this. Now this is not going to be a inexpensive projector by any means. It's high quality, it's a laser projector. It costs a lot more money to make laser projectors than a typical LED. There's not a bulb that just expands it. You actually have detailed contrast projected onto a wall. I love it. I might even get their brand new bigger one that they've got that's it's like two thousand dollars but if you're gonna have a permanent solution in your film room it's it's worth it imagine taking this out to your friends and watching football on the big TV I love it I'm gonna get a couple of these and give them out as gifts I think they're fantastic I'll put links to this one in the description section of this video as well as some specifications if you want to know more about that make sure you check those out it'll be down in the comment section and in the description of this video I really hope you enjoyed this video if you're new to our channel you like content like this make sure you do subscribe to our channel and hit that thumbs up guys if you like this video it means a lot to me when you do that and get it thanks again for watching this video any questions you have comment down below bye